Hi everybody, once again, welcome to another uh, art update with yours truly. And this time this is of the uh, watercolor uh, Zombie Factory 2.0 concept, which uh, I kind of wanted to expand further on uh, the Zombie Factory oil painting, which I have done some videos ago. So, uh, I just thought it was a interesting idea to try to um, expand upon that by making this mobile version, which is kind of supposed to go around and uh, dig up graves and uh, sort of assemble the uh, zombie compatriots on uh, his back, and they go through a shaft there and just come out of his uh, mouth. Uh, it was a great idea, but um, there was also this kind of uh, complex thing I was trying to do, like where they would kind of be assembled from a and it would show, like, on in the inside how they were sort of assembled and made, but um, I just couldn't make any of that work, so I just decided to, you know, well, it's, you know, it's on the outside now, so whatever's outside will be out, so. But, um, uh, yeah, kind of noticed that he has these uh, weird you know, green sprigs in uh, his legs as well as everywhere else. Just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a support thing, I'm not sure, but just stuff I came up with. I mean, it's, it's nonsensical, it's nonsensical, but so is this whole thing. But anyway, um, yeah, um, I especially knew from the beginning that um, I didn't want this to be the atypical, like, sort of thing where, and this was going to be like just a big machine with, uh, you know, goes on treads and just kind of does the the old thing of digging up uh, graves for zombies to be assembled for. Uh, I even did a sketch of that, but I just thought, no, nah, I'm going to do something a little more uh, ambitious. So I just kind of, uh, it's kind of interesting. I kind of looked up uh, a certain uh, mammal anatomy and just wanted to uh, just sort of make my own sort of hulking version of that. And coupled with that was a skull on the end of it. So with the spoke stacks and on the top of his head, so it was kind of uh, interesting when it's all assembled together. So all in all, I really like it. Although, yeah, it does have some issues with me. Uh, the green is kind of not just uh, up to par with what I really wanted, but uh, but you know, kind of grown to uh, accept it now. And uh, I just wanted to see this idea manifest, and I think I did that. And of course, I really like this touch here with uh, the back, sort of uh, all the zombies assembled up, and just kind of going through uh, the shaft right there. Kind of coming through the mouth. So like, wouldn't that be a fun sort of, uh, sort of uh, novelty ride for, for kids? <laughs> I mean, just go through the innards of this creature and just kind of go through the mouth. It's kind of an amazing thing. I mean, Knott's Berry Farm, you know, it be a good idea. Um, yeah. Uh, certainly like that, um, like, what would you call it? Sort of a crash dummy uh, symbol right there. So it's all those touches that kind of uh, add up. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it all, all around, so course, uh, some additional touches that I uh, put up to it before making this video, but um, I think it all works all very well. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think it all works well, so I uh, uh, hope you think so, too. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with these updates and for... and I apologize so much just for being absent once more, but just, uh, just really wanted to do the best job I can with these things, and just trying to clear my mind as well, so, uh, anyway, thank you guys so much, and, uh, there'll be more updates, so stick around for that, and take care, have a happy Halloween, good all, and all around good October, so, whatever, uh, so, okay, thank you so much, okay.